Hi, Moral Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain about a Chinese drama comedy film called Kung Fu League. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film opens on a rainy night. A girl, Bayer, is carried by a group of men. She screams to Fei Ying Zhang for help. Fei is surrounded by many enemies, but he is a very skillful kung fu fighter and defeats them all. When the time comes to fight the strongest of them, an acrobatic kung fu fight starts and Fei wins. The girl is released and Fei stands triumphant above his opponent. He laughs at him. We are taken outside of that scene and we realize that Fei is a 25-year-old cartoonist who is drawing a comic. Bayer is his real-life love interest who works in the same place with him. Fei writes a love letter for her and hides it inside his comic book pages. He gets up and accidentally bumps into Bayer. They both go down and their comics fly in the air. Fei's comic pages and his letter are laying on the floor. He rushes to grab the letter. Bayer looks at his sketches and asks him about it. Fei answers and explains his idea. It's about four masters of kung fu who come to live in the modern world. The four masters should be Wang, Huo, Chen, and Ip Man. Bayer likes the idea. They are interrupted by the president of the company, Chang. He takes Bayer aside to have a word with her. Miss Ying joins. She is Fei's aunt and works in the company as a cleaner and cook. She tells Fei to make a move on Bayer or else Chang will get to her first. Fei is left alone. He takes his letter and puts it in Bayer's bag, but one of his colleagues sees him and thinks he is stealing. The whole office gathers around. Bayer says that Fei is very poor, but he is not a thief. The words very poor stick in his mind. Fei is angry and he walks through the glass. Zhang is quick to protect Bayer from the flying glass pieces while Fei is leaving the company. Fei gets himself drunk and whines about why Zhang has everything whereas he has nothing. He uses a cupcake to make a wish for himself. He wishes for all his dreams to come true. His sketches and the letter he wrote for Bayer start flying around him. They speak to him. Fei lays down on the ground and falls asleep. The next morning, we get to see Master Wang competing in a costume race which includes some kung fu fighting as well. He wins the race and returns to his lover Wing, telling her that he is ready to marry her. Wang goes to sleep and has a weird dream. He is on a boat and Fei swims towards him, asking for his help. Wang wakes up but he is now in a different place. He finds himself in modern day at the shooting set of a kung fu movie. He meets with another kung fu fighter who introduces himself as Jen. The director of the film says he is Bruce Lee, not Jen. The masters knock the director out and leave. Walking around the various film sets, they realize they've had the same dream and they are now in the year 2018. Jen says his master Huo and Ip Man are here as well and the four of them meet on a rooftop. The four masters decide to navigate themselves around town to search for Fei. They coincidentally meet with Bayer at a restaurant. She realizes that they don't have any money and buys them a meal. She also gives them some cash. When she asks their names, the four of them introduce themselves. Bayer smiles and thinks they are joking. She tells them they shouldn't impersonate other people. A biker steals the cash out of Ip Man's hand and the four masters follow him. They are able to find this thief's crib. His whole gang is waiting for them but that's no big deal for the masters of Kung Fu. They deal with the gang and then tell their leader, Shi, that he can pay off what he owes them by helping them find the boy who appeared in their dreams. The gang uses their computers and finds Fei. They go through his phone messages and find out he is going to meet Bayer in a stadium, which also operates a kung fu museum. They visit the museum and find some of their stuff there, which are now exhibits since they are in the future. Wong finds a letter his lover had sent to someone unknown. Master Huo has been her lover, but Wong can't make the connection. Bayer has a talk with Chang in a ring where a contest is going to take place and be held by Chang. Fei is hiding under a construction and watching them. The four masters are able to spot Fei and they grab him. At the same time, the head of Chang's security, Chao, and some of his men join the scene. He doesn't seem very friendly, but he is skillful at kung fu as well. 
His heightened hearing picks up that some kung fu masters are present. He first sends his men to get them, but they don't stand a chance. Then Chow himself goes after them. Master Wong gets involved into a fight with him. This results in the whole construction coming into pieces. While the four masters are smuggling Fei out of this place, Bayer and Chang are able to take a sneak peek of him. Zhang realizes that Bayer originally came here to meet with Fei instead of him. The masters ask Fei to wish for them to return back in their normal timelines. Fei says he needs them here to teach him kung fu. That way, he can win the wushu contest and rub it on Chong's face. The contest winner will also get 30 million and that makes Shi support Fei. He tells the masters that they should help those in need and prove their good ethics. The masters take Fei to a football field. Fei is in a hurry to learn Kung Fu, but the masters tell him it will require lots of time for him to learn everything. Almost 30 years. Fei says he does not have that much time. The masters say that the only way to solve this is to activate Fei's chakras with external force, which is nearly impossible to succeed. Shi and his mate Tao are watching them. Shi explains that he is going to become their manager. This is an opportunity to make big money and they should not miss it. The masters and Shi take Fei to the contest and sign him up. Chang and Bayer join them and the two groups meet. Chang is accompanied by his security. One of them is the man who fought with Wang, Chao. Wang takes Fei closer to Bayer because he has something to tell her. Fei cowers but the masters insist he speaks his mind, but Chang gets in the way and calls Ms. Ying. She is in the hospital at her son's bedside. She says Zhang lent her some money and this time she begs him to not tell Bayer he likes her. Fei hangs up and stays silent. Zhang smirks in victory. Chao asks Wang who he is. The shadow foot technique he used when they fought has been lost since 100 years ago. She says that he is their agent and there is not going to be any fighting with his clients. If Chao is interested in them, he can fight them in the ring. The group proceeds to grab a drink and sing karaoke. The masters tell Fei that it is not appropriate for a man to be afraid of love and not express his feelings. Master Wang says he would love to go back in his time and tell his soon-to-be wife that he loves her. Wang has drunk too much and he passes out on the table. He accidentally cuts himself and the other masters have to take care of him. While Wang is asleep, Ip Man tells Huo that he knows he is the secret lover of Wing. Huo refuses any involvement with Wing, but eventually he gets trapped in his own lies. Wang is awake and listens to everything. His reaction is to attack the wall with his head. The ceiling cracks and collapses upon them. Fei gathers up his courage and dresses as a female waiter to approach Bayer, who is swimming in the pool. He expresses his true feelings and tells her about the letter he wrote. Bayer says she also wrote a letter for him. She is in love with him too. The scene ends with the two of them having their first kiss underwater. When she returns in her room, Chang is waiting for her and he is more than angry about her kissing Fei. The group attends the contest. Everything is ready to get started. Master Huo has been injured and he can't compete. He uses crutches to walk. Wang gets in the ring and meets with Chao. He tells him he will be honored to fight him and asks Chao to not hold back. He wants to get killed by him. The fight starts and Master Wang gets hit. He asks Chao to hit him even harder. Wang does not resist at all. Huo understands that Wang wants to be defeated because of his broken heart. Huo gets in the ring, hits Chao, and tosses the referee out of the ring. All the fighters complain, but Huo says they heard the rules, last man standing is the winner. A huge fight starts while Huo and Fei try to talk some sense into Wang. They convince him to not give up on his efforts and try to get his love back. Huo says they made a deal to help Fei and they have to keep their promises. Wang gets up and fights Chao for real this time. Master Wang wins the fight. Fei receives a message on his phone, telling him to get on the elevator number 4 if he wants to see Bayer again. Fei, Wang, Huo, and Chen get in the elevator. The elevator takes them many floors down under the ground. 
Chang has a secret base down there and he has prepared a special fighting suit. If they want to get by her, they have to fight him. Meanwhile, Ip Man is hiding backstage. She tells him to get in and fight, but Ip Man says he is not the real Ip Man. He is just a fugitive. Jen goes first but is easily defeated by Chong. Chong says that this suit is a high-tech creation of his and possesses the ability to analyze the movements of his opponents. That's why he held this tournament. He will be able to analyze and copy all the martial arts styles. Huo wants to have his turn but is defeated as well. Wang is next. He tries hard but Zhang beats him too. Now only Fei is left. Zhang throws a hard punch at his chest. That gives Fei an idea. He makes Zhang angry and wanting to hit him even more. Fei takes the hits while turning and twisting his body, manipulating it to receive the hits on the body parts where the chakras will get activated. He remembers the teaching of the masters, that he can achieve mastery if he activates all of his chakras and energy channels by external force. Fei receives one final hard strike on the top of his head. Everyone thinks he is dead, but he gets up. He says he has now achieved the top level of Chinese martial arts. He is so fast that Zhang's technology can't analyze his movements. Indeed, he is able to defeat Zhang pretty easily. Fei frees Bayer and every piece of the puzzle falls in its place. Fei and Bayer are together, she fights in the tournament and wins the prize money, Ip Man turns himself in and the other masters return back in their timelines. The film ends with a humorous scene. Master Wong tells Wing that if she wants to be with Huo, he will not stop her. Wing prays to God and says he can take both of them away. Wing's maid reveals that the anonymous letter was not for Huo. It was for Chen. The masters realized that she had been cheating on both of them with Chen. Chen runs away and the masters chase behind him. Subscribe and hit that like button to help our channel grow. Turn the notifications on so you won't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.